People from across Nashville came together to say a final farewell to a popular pastor and advocate. It has been a week since Bishop Marcus Candle Campbell passed away from a heart condition. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell tells us how family and friends plan to keep his legacy alive. Hundreds packed into Mount Calvary Baptist Church to say their goodbyes to Bishop Marcus Campbell, a man who they say truly made a difference in this Nashville community. It's the time for us to rejoice, even though we, we miss him. We still got a part of him in us that we got to keep building on the legacy that he left. It's difficult trying to sum up all the good work Marcus Campbell did for his community. He's inspired everyone. And everyone here at his funeral has a story to share. I called on him when I lost my husband, my sister, my brother. He was like literally the one organization that I could always count on to take that one kid that nobody else wanted to take, that nobody else wanted to give a chance. He changed this city, changed the lives of kids, and he was a model of redemption and forgiveness. Born right here in Music City, it took Campbell years to find a godly path leading him to become the head pastor at the church at Mount Carmel, a position he held for over 18 years. I saw him when he was in the, the gang life, but God touched him. Then he started loving on all these children, pulling them out of the community. That included taking the word gang and turning it into something positive and starting an organization known as Gentlemen and Not Gangsters. How he taught them how to tie a tie, he taught them how to shake hands, and it is amazing because he was a father figure to them, and many of them have turned their life around because of Marcus Campbell. In January, I sat down with Bishop Campbell and C.J. Douglas, a young man who graduated from the gang program. When I had something else to look up to, which was him, I seen, like, you can change, like, you don't, you don't got to keep doing this the same way you've been doing this. Saying goodbye is never easy, but through young people like CJ, that's how people say Bishop Campbell's legacy will live on. And his legacy is that second chance that he got himself and that he wanted to make sure that every youth had the opportunity to have that second chance. In Nashville, Erin Cantrell, New Channel 5. Aaron, thank you. Both Mayor John Cooper and Metro Police Chief John Drake attended Campbell's funeral. Campbell was laid to rest at the Greenwood Cemetery North. He was 49 years old.